Welcome back, fellow travelers. On today's episode, we'll be kicking it up a notch by venturing into uncharted territories for Journeys by Jay. So far, it's been nothing but campgrounds with electricity and running water and nice smooth level surfaces. But not today. Today we go off the beaten path for one of the best types of camping you could possibly ever experience. Yeah, that's right. We're braving the wilderness and we're going boondocking. We'll discover that sometimes the past is better left in the past. This place is trashed. We're gonna meet up with our friends from Little Landers and we'll find some shocking surprises in this playground hidden next to Pike's Peak. All coming up now. There's so many ways to escape, but I guess it's down to wake up, down to wake up. Far too many ways to escape, but I guess it's down to wake up, down to wake up. Down to wake up, down to wake up, Down to wake up, down to wake up. Down to wake up, down to wake up, babe. All right, guys. We are just west of Colorado Springs. We've just gone through Colo old Colorado City and we're about to head up past Manitou up to Woodland Park. Now, what are we doing out here today? This isn't uh, a typical trip for me. This isn't uh, going camping. This is a scouting trip. I'm heading to Pike National Forest in search of a relic from my past. I was never kidding in the past when I said the Rocky Mountains were my playground growing up. So I'm in search of a ghost. And if I can't find that ghost, well, I'll find a suitable alternative for this week's trip. See, I grew up in Colorado Springs back here. And when I was 16 to the age of 18, whenever me and my friends wanted to go camping, we'd disappear in this direction, up towards Woodland Park, and deep into Pike National Forest. And we had a spot out there that somehow we were always able to find. It wasn't unusual for us to be traveling up this same road on a Friday night, well, Friday afternoon, I should say, in a 66 Mustang with a few friends, a tent in the back, enough food to last us for a day or two, just cheap food, you know, hot dogs, bologna, <laughs> bread, <laughs> just the basics, you know, what a teenager can afford. But the last time we were here was 30 years ago. I don't know if this spot still exists, but I really wanna go there this coming weekend. There was a big forest fire up this way years ago. And I'm not even sure if maybe, I, I, maybe that campsite might've been devoured by that fire. We always had a good time coming up here. I mean, you gotta go back to the 90s where we didn't have the internet. We were outdoorsy kids, man. We wanted to get out into these mountains. And whenever we got the opportunity, and yes, our parents were cool with it. They knew what we were doing. We were, you know, just coming up here, disappearing into the mountains, no big deal. Whatever the case, the scouting mission is to find a place to camp this weekend. I hope that's the one, but I'm coming up in the mountains this weekend, darn it. Woo, that altitude change. I'm gonna spare you a lot of video of me talking to myself, and I'll get right to the part where your question is answered. Did I find it? Yes, I did and my heart is about to be thoroughly broken. Let's pull in here. Let's see what's going on down here. Ooh, this would be fun with a trailer. This might be it. And they have it all fenced off. Where we used to camp is all fenced off. Why? Oh, as we move further down this road, we're gonna discover why it's fenced off. This place is trashed. Are you freaking kidding me? This place is trashed. I'm gonna film here. This is ridiculous. I'm so pissed off at the entirety of the human race right now that I forget that the microphone is attached to the seat belt and not me. And honestly, it's probably for the better. I go on a profanity-laced tirade about how people like this are the reason why we can't have nice things. I'm sure the term tiny peepeed hillbillies turned up at least once. 
Hey, but hey, at least I get it now. This is why they're fencing off sections of the forest. This is why you can't go camping. All because a few ignorant baboons don't know how to clean up after themselves. Great job, guys. Thanks. Could have had. So right down there is where we used to camp. But as you can see, can't go down there anymore. I'm gonna go down there anyway. I do believe this is the spot. Sure does look a lot different. There were far more trees. This tree was still here. That tree was still here. Approximately where I'm standing is where we'd always put our tent. This looks right. I think this is the place. And if it was open, absolutely I could have got a camper down here. But it's not open. So 30 years ago is gonna have to remain 30 years ago. And uh, just gonna have to find a new place. And find a new place I did. The rest of the day was spent hunting for a new place in this massive forest and dropping pins on my little GPS. I found a lot of great spots, but there was of course one that was my favorite. And that's my target for this weekend. Well, welcome back everybody. We are on our way back up the mountain and we're gonna go find ourselves a spot in Woodland Park or Pike National Forest, I should say. We're not alone this time. We've got uh, my friend Bryce and his wife Amanda coming up to hang out with us. They're from Little Landers. I will put a link in the description to their channel as well. You can check it out. We'll learn more about what they're all about when we get there. We're just coming up the mountain. We're gonna top off the gas tank before we get lost in the woods and we may get lost in the woods. I don't know. I'm scared to death to bring this thing up there, man, but we're gonna make this happen. Come hell or high water, the nice part about uh, this collaboration with Little Anders is that if we gotta get someplace where I can't get this trailer, I guarantee you his truck can. So <laughs> we're gonna make some magic happen. All right, guys, peace. We'll see you up on the mountain. After meeting up with the Little Landers in Woodland Park, I had to lead the way to show them to the super secret awesome campsite. Now we've all got our fingers crossed that someone else hasn't beaten us there. All right guys, we are here. We have made it to the super secret spot that I have found. I didn't film this one when I did the, when I did the searches for our, uh, the scouting trip. I didn't film this one, but we got a million dollar view here. We also have the Little Landers over here and we are, Basking in nature, guys. Am I level? We're trying to get set up now. That's about as good as it's gonna get, right there. Yep, I see it. Huh. You wanna see? Is it all that interesting? That's as good as it's gonna get up here. I can't believe I got this back here, but hey, you know, half the battle's done. The other battle is gonna be getting it out of here. So, anyways, meet the Little Landers. Camping on your own is fine and all, but sometimes getting lost in the middle of nowhere with a couple of like-minded friends can really do wonders for the soul. And with our like-minded passions, it's beyond friends now. We're family. Look at that rig. That's fancy. We've got the overlanders and overroaders. <laughs> but look at this. We're overland, we can do it too. We were just starting to settle in and decompress, and then the drone came out to play. All right, it's settled. I need one of these in my life, along with a part 107 license, coming soon. As awesome as these shots are, his best shots of the night are yet to come. As I've always said, you always kind of hope for some kind of wildlife encounter on any of these trips, be it a deer, a bear, a raccoon, something. Today, Bryce happened upon something I have never seen in the state of Colorado, a moose. A moose with her calf, no less. 
Now, it's not gonna look like it, but he had no intention of harassing this moose with her calf. He was trying to keep a respectful distance while still getting pictures, but the drone decided it had other plans. With a critical low battery, it decided it's gonna land itself. And the video ends with Mama Moose charging the giant plastic insect and the drone crashing. <laughs> We've just had a moose encounter and it charged Little Lander's drone. <laughs> <laughs> There's the moose. Oh. An effing moose that inspired a t-shirt and a backstory that'll be shared on Patreon. Oh my God. I'm happy to report that the drone was saved by a good Samaritan passing by. They too were looking at the moose and got the bonus of a drone crash. Last thing I saw was this moose charging it and I had critical low battery. Like oh. it was like force landing, <laughs> force landing. And I was like, no, there's a moose. In the end, everybody wins. Mama moose and baby moose scampered off unharmed. A very pricey drone was recovered undamaged. And we had an amazing encounter on our first night here. With all this excitement, it's time for a drink. Absolutely, you gotta have campsite margarita. Because that's how we roll, we glam, we don't camp. Hats off to Amanda, who makes only the finest pre-mixed margaritas to enjoy at nearly 10,000 feet. Oh, no. Action shot. I'm amazed at the sheer, you would think what you get to know. That worked out perfect right there. <laughs> the rest of this evening was spent by the fire just sharing good things. Good food, good drinks, good stories and good times. And a great story about a moose. And soon enough, we'd all turn in with only one thing on our mind. What's tomorrow gonna bring? Well, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning at this beautiful spot in Pike National Forest. Everybody is starting to get around. And yeah, last night was warranted for everybody to kind of rest up and sleep in a little bit. I think there's only one of us here who did not miss the sunrise, but, uh, but anyways, I don't know what we're gonna do today. We've got so much to do. I mean, we just got, oh wait, no. No, we don't have so much to do. We're just gonna enjoy all of this and we're gonna take you along with us. And I think the next order of business is breakfast. As previously mentioned, it's breakfast time and it's my turn to do the breakfast this morning. So I'm doing my traditional camp breakfast like I always do. I'm doing my bacon with potatoes and eggs. Now, it's gonna be a little different this time because it's gonna be as unhealthy as it can possibly get because we didn't bring any cooking oil for the potatoes. So, we're cooking the bacon first and guess what we're gonna do with all that grease? Yeah, heart clogging goodness, guys. Don't try this at home, kids, unless you're, you know, willing to live a little bit. Today we are cooking the fatty potatoes. We cook everything with the bacon fat. We put bacon fat in the bacon. We put bacon fat in the potatoes. We put bacon fat in the eggs. We put bacon fat in the orange juice. And we put bacon fat on the cookie afterwards. <laughs> Everything bacon fat. It's good, no? Makes for long life. Well, at least good life. <laughs> Tasty life. Why did I go from French to Russian? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I already started eating, but hey, eh, man. There's the fruits to labor, man. Interestingly, everything has this wonderful bacon flavor to it. <laughs> Imagine, I don't know how that happened. But <laughs> There's nothing quite like a good camp breakfast. But now that our batteries are recharged and we have all this energy to burn, what do we do now? We'll play with toys, of course. We must have spent hours playing with these little RC rock crawlers. Dude, they're a lot of fun. Hey! 
But soon enough, we'd find ourselves out exploring what's around us. And as per usual, we'd find more surprises. But this is always the best way to get back in touch with nature, guys, is to just go step into it. You never know what you're gonna find. We might find something really cool. Yesterday we found a moose. That was amazing. Maybe a bear, but if we come across a bear, I want everybody to just put your right hand in the air and swear you're gonna do your best to prevent forest fires and we'll be fine. And we got storm. Yes, the dog. He instills a lot of confidence. Ooh, there's a den. There's a den. That's too small to be a bear den, but it could be a coyote's den. Yeah, let's just go ring the doorbell of a random wild animal. Okay, bro. Bro, seriously. This looks like some Blair Witch to me. What are they doing here? <laughs> At the time of editing this, I've come across more of these, but this was the first. But I don't know what's going on here, so it kind of freaks me out. You can tell there was a fire here. And that, because most of these trees, they're scorched at the bottom, but they're still alive at the top. That's good, that's, that's what we want. A, a positive, oh, go, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Go Hercules. He's over there moving a whole dang tree. What are you doing? You trying to get a hernia? Oh, always my least favorite part about going downhill is coming back up. More Blair Witchka. Witchka? I don't know what that is. What is this? What is this? It's just a campsite. I actually kind of like this concept for a campsite. If you want to keep the wind out, I'm pretty sure that this is where they summon Satan. It may not seem like much, but it's these simple things in life that make life worth living. We didn't get lost in the woods, but we did get lost in the woods, if that makes sense. But soon enough, we found ourselves back at camp, ready to begin another night of festivities. So we're into the evening of the second day here, second night out here in Pike National Forest. And uh, you know, as I've said, I think the first time I said it was on my Kansas trip was that sometimes a trip is just to unwind. And man, what a place this is for that. We're having a great time with the Little Landers. And we're gonna, probably gonna be doing this again sometime because it's not just like a collaboration, not like a normal collab, so to speak. I mean, we're friends. We've been friends for a long time. And uh, we just only recently discovered that we kind of had the same passion, so to speak. I've got a Bigfoot creeping up on me here. We've got a natural Sasquatch in its habitat. There he is, caught him. If you want to join this conversation, I can. This is the kind of trip that a lot of people need where you just go out and you chill with friends. You make some friends and you get out there and make magic happen. Just forget about the world. Forget about it. Forget about your worries. Forget about your job. Forget about the bills that need to be paid. Just... Yeah, that's all true and was a very nice speech, but what's your point, Jay? If a little bit of adult beverages helps with that, that's okay, you know? Oh! Just don't take it to excesses, guys. Drink responsibly, as they say. Yeah, okay, got it. Truth be told, there was an abundance of adult beverages on this trip. There's probably gonna be a members-only video on Patreon about that alone. But hey, man, I'm unwinding. So, this is where it starts. Thank you, sir. Oh, indeed. I didn't even get to sample one of these yesterday, but I know they're good because I had them at his house once. Mm -hmm. camping bro this is camping so what do you do when you're out on a camping trip like this you eat drink and be merry merriment burgers tonight buddy it's all about the camp food what do you think absolutely yes yes as always a good camp meal signifies the end of another fine day but it's not quite over yet 
we'll stay up late enjoying each other's company and talking about camp things. If you know, you know. Some of us even fell asleep in our camp chairs while staring up at all of this. Hey, not a bad way to go out, is it? Good morning, everybody. We are on day number three here, and it's our last day here, so we're just kind of getting around. Everybody, I think, is uh, kind of a little worn out from the excesses of this trip. It's been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Bryce and Amanda and their family seem to mesh well <laughs> with the dynamic that Felicia and I have. I mean, we just get along, you know? We'll be doing more of this in the future. This isn't, this isn't the last time we'll be going out with the Little Landers. Tell me, in your own words, talk about what Little Landers is. Little Landers is um, something that we came up with a little while ago, and it's, uh, we, we like overlanding, even though uh, we don't get to go as often as we like, and we were all talking about it, and came up with the term Little Landers, which is overlanding, but with, your little ones. It's it's the magic of seeing the world through their eyes. You know, you don't have to be hardcore or, or go off-roading or anything. You just go explore with your family. Go have fun. What do you think about camping and, and Little Landers? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, after a delicious breakfast, it was time to start packing up. It's time to say goodbye for now to the forest. Goodbye for now to the mountains. But that's just the nature of the game. We get up every day and go to work just so we can have these opportunities to get out here and live the way we want to. Once again, we've made memories to last a lifetime. Hey, and there's still a lot of summer left. So there's still plenty more memories to be made. And this is the part where I say, if you like what you're seeing, you can do it too. Whether you have an overland rig, an RV, a tent, whether you have kids or pets or not, the only limitations are the ones you set on yourself. Hopefully someday we'll find you out there. But until then, safe travels, happy camping, and cheers. Well, another successful meal, another successful night. Come on under here under the lights, the mood lighting that Mr. Bryce has. Just to kind of tell you about, what are you laughing at? <laughs> I came over here to change. Oh, are you naked? No, I'm not naked yet. <laughs> well, come on, get busy. All right, I got you. <laughs> oh, never mind. This is, this is for Patreon. Patreon. Uh, like ant, no, no, no. They, they're gonna unsubscribe. You don't want to see this. This is bad. You're probably right. Let's go away. <laughs>